Remember those franchise exclusivity deals, PlayStation Plus and Epic Games Store? Well, the company behind those deals was thought to have no plans to come to Steam. However, they've made plans. That's right, Oddworld Soulstorm, thought to have been an Epic Games Store treat, has been found arriving on Steam. With release dates already set, well not actually, it's just coming soon currently, but that would have ruined a bit, so Soulstorm is set to whatever. Oddworld Soulstorm has been announced as finally coming out on Steam soon, which is really great. Well, you know, I mean, if I say that, you know, soon in Oddworld inhabitants terms, who knows how soon that really is, but whatever. Which is really great news, as a lot of people were wondering about that, and, well, a lot of people will finally get to play Oddworld Soulstorm that couldn't before. So that's quite good. As for PlayStation Plus, figure might as well talk about this while I'm here. This story broke and was widely reported about a week ago that Lorne was saying that the PlayStation Plus exclusivity deal that brought the PlayStation 5 version of Soulstorm as soon as it was released as the PS5 re game of the month for PlayStation Plus subscribers in, in April 2021. Apparently he says that this deal was actually devastating for Oddworld Soulstorm's sales, which is quite interesting. So basically Lorne was saying that they had originally planned to have it as the free game months earlier than it ended up being so, when there wasn't as so many PS5s. So they were expecting maybe about 50,000 to 100,000 copies to be claimed by people that had the PS5, but Soulstorm was delayed and ended up coming out in April 2021 instead. By then, PS5s were much more prevalent and the game ended up so-called selling 4 million free copies with PS Plus, which seemingly was bad according to Lanning because, of course, if you're just giving away your game for free, well, I guess that's not so good. It's interesting because I kind of predicted this when they announced it was going to be for PS Plus. I made a video where I was saying, like, is this a good thing? The game they've been working on for over half a decade is being given out for free as soon as it's released. I said that they must have been given a load of money for that. But seemingly, the money was under Oddworld Inhabitants' assumption that they'd give away around 100,000 copies and not 4 million. Which, as Lorne says, isn't remotely Sony and PlayStation's fault or anything. When he says this, he's not blaming them, it was just a miscalculation on Oddworld Inhabitants' parts, I guess. That shows the double-edged sword that these kinds of deals can present. Now, personally, I don't necessarily think it was too bad of a thing in some ways. I mean, economically, if Lorne says it's devastating for the sales, and fair enough, he's the best in the best position to know, obviously, I guess. But to be honest, I kind of doubt that 90% of those 4 million people that got it for free would have ended up getting the game had it not been for free, you know? Not to mention that you didn't actually need a PS5 to claim it, you just needed a PS Plus subscription. But meanwhile, 4 million people getting the game, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Like, imagine the publicity that that generated. Indeed, you only have to look at the Google Trends graph at the time to see how interested people were in Oddworld, I believe, due to this, and compare that to when New and Tasty came out. You know, I think it actually gave Oddworld massive exposure at that time, which is at least something valuable, I guess. And I think that a lot of people got into Oddworld because of this, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, but who knows what the economics of it are. You know, it'll be interesting to see if this does impact the future of Oddworld. Will there be more games in the future, or were they really economically devastated to the point of being derailed from this new Quintology? If so, it reminds me of the Star Wars Battlefront series. They can never get past two games either, seemingly. But it'd be interesting to see what happens with Oddworld, and really, I guess only time will tell. Hello. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Yo. 